to hem my sweetheart's pants today. So I have already done one leg to show you how it's going to look after, um, as opposed to what it was before. And in about 10 minutes, you can go from this to this. What I did first is have my husband put the pants on, and then I marked at the bottom where they fell perfectly, where he'd want them to be hemmed to. Um, marked that spot, folded them under where he wanted this spot to be, and then I ironed it nicely so it has this nice clean line right there. And that's where our hem will be at the end. What you're gonna do is fold back out what you have just ironed. So here's the crease where he wants it to lay on his leg. And you're going to measure down from that crease one and a, one and a half inches. So I'll put a mark right here. Okay, so I have these four marks that are one and a half inches down from the line. Make sure that the ends meet up perfectly if you're going to cut them together. Line your ruler up on this line. Or along the four dots. And you just kind of draw a line with your chalk going all the way across. So line up your ends again to make sure it's nice and straight. Take your scissors or whatever you're using. I love these for sewing. And cut a straight line. So now from where you measured, it's gonna be a half inch, one and a half inches longer than that. You're gonna unfold the edge that you ironed earlier and we are going to put a stitch on the very edge of this. So if you can see it's kind of fraying, it'll stop that fray. So the, the stitch that I want to use for that is this just a zigzag stitch, just like that. It just goes back and forth and it'll help with the fray on the very edge. And this is an edge that you will never see. So try not to go off the edge, just do it as close to the edge as you can with the zigzag. Okay, so I just did the zigzag stitch all the way around the base which will be nice because I won't have any more fray. I'm just gonna turn this back up and we'll be on our last step. Um, we need to do a little bit of pinning for this step. So I'm going to go about a quarter inch down, about as big as my zigzag stitch was, and just pin it every couple inches all the way around the leg. Okay, now we're going to change over here to the blind stitch one. So we were on the zigzag and now we're gonna go to the blind stitch on my Audrey machine. It's number 21. Um, as you can see, it stitches more on the right side than on the left, it just stitches every once in a while, which will be good because after we have it pinned, we're going to turn it in So we have, right here, this fold is where the hem is going to be. And this is the line that we just sewed on, the line that we cut. So um, the, on this side, we're gonna have a lot of the stitching. And on this side, where it's going to show on the outside, there's just gonna be a stitch every once in a while. So it will look like this from the front. Okay, so I have this turned inside out and you can kind of fix it as you're sewing. And my concern when I was first doing this is that the stitch on the left was gonna go through both layers, the one I just folded under and the top. But you'll see that it doesn't do that and it just does, it just does this on the outside. So you're going to line this up. So the fold, first of all, I like to start on the center line hem so I can reverse it. So you're going to put the fold in the middle of the foot. And if you watch for a second to see how the stitch works. Do you see it? Mine goes about five or six times and then it crosses over. Take out my needles as I go. I'm almost at the end here. Um, just make sure that this 
and this line stay parallel as much as you possibly can. Okay, so we have it like this, and, if, and you can see that it kind of needs to be ironed a little bit, so let's go do that for our last step. All we have to do is iron it so it looks really nice. I like to put a piece of cotton between the iron and my nice material just for protection, so I know exactly where I want to iron. And there you go, perfectly hemmed inside and out.